Oh yeah, they're nice people. And the place is lovely. Lovely and well secured. Mm. <laughs> I have everything. <laughs> everything, everything. I love everything about it. It's clean and it will be clean. I said to her, don't worry, when I don't have nothing to do, I take the broom, broom of common sweet outside for you. Mm. <laughs> That's me, I have to look for something to do. To look for something to do. <laughs> Through the door and then left. Are you ready? Basically, when they started the putting up the fencing on the roadway, because there's a bus stop just outside, it gave a brief description of what they were looking for if anybody wanted to apply. So it was only an off chance that I applied or I wanted information. I was interviewed uh, quite shortly after and recently I was informed officially that I would had an apartment. So that's good news. The time that it was commissioned, we recognised there was a shortage of really high quality older persons housing in the social housing sector. We had been running arms houses for a while, but we could still see there was a real need for people who have lived in the inner cities um, for somewhere for them to go um, to, to retire, which wasn't on the outskirts of London or in, in the countryside. They wanted somewhere that was close to the area where they'd grown up, where all their families were still there. We got our first home through the Squatters Association. You know, so there was a no hot running water, outside toilet, you know. But we we're very happy that was that was our house. Absolutely no messing. Every song that I spin in is absolute blessing. <laughs> of a lot of stress, a um, lot of disappointments, lots of controversy, you know, and now it's just chill and it's peaceful and it's quiet, you know. And so when I leave this environment and I go out into the world, so to speak, and it is what it is, I accept it for what it is. But when I come back home into the VU room, you know, this is my sanctuary. You know, so, so I've, gone from live, I've gone from living on couches, um, living in one room, to living in a studio flat, to moving to a beautiful one bedroom flat. We were founded in 1541 by order of Henry VIII. Um, it does come from very old money. The principal benefactors we do know, there was um, one guy called um, Thomas Cure. He was the saddler to Queen Elizabeth, Queen Mary and Edward VI. <laughs> in 1588 when he died, he left us a, piece, a large piece of land in what is now Borough Market in South London and with the instruction that we had to build almshouses for the poor of the parish um, and, and have them there forever and ever. So have you seen it yet? No, I haven't seen it yet. Ooh! As long as I've got room to put my uh, bookcase. You can see your flat. 
Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> this is something special. It really is. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be lost in you, you know. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we're there. Absolutely. Okay. I have my chair here so I can watch the television. You have the land. You also have these developers um, who are building beautiful private homes throughout the borough and offices could be used the money which they have to give towards affordable housing but rather than give it towards typical family housing or one bed housing they looked at actually supporting older people with it building some high quality older person's housing and the knock-on effect of that is that when you build something of good quality the people will move for their their typical under occupied homes into um, into here, thereby freeing up family housing in, in the area. Well, I'll get you an apron and a bucket, Mum, and you can come up and wash all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we used to do years ago, wasn't it? Yeah. That's what their days are over. Oh, you clean the windows, I'll scrub all the skirt. Yeah. No, that's what I said. Well, the carpets come in, but everything's here, you ain't got to do nothing. Nothing no, at all. I've never seen a flat like it. I've only got a walk down there to that door and I'm out in the garden. I sit outside on my bench in my dressing gown and have a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> first time an arms house has been built by us to our own specification for centuries and when you've got the opportunity to do it you don't let go.